Jamaica, wait, roll a tape, she ain't never fake She gon' be the one to really try to motivate Tell it to your face why the mother hoes hate Money Moses, he gon' be the coldest If you got a secret, he the one that's gon' expose it If you wanna let Check it, check it, check it, it's a unique host He was she jamming e into it CEO <laughs> Cause you never heard the whole thing hey, before Hey man, check, check it man I can't let it man, That was that. the whole thing, oh, you didn't hear the whole thing before <laughs> Hey man oh, Bob Yeah, I saw, I saw him over there yeah. Official Miss Jamaica Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Who did that? Uh, EXO, man. Who? EXO. Oh, EXO. Yeah, EXO. Yes. He did the rapper though. Uh, that's that's her. her. That's her name. Oh, that's her name? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about EXO the producer. No. I, know you talk. I thought that's oh, yeah. who you was talking about. No. Oh, okay. Smoothie know who it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just She's me. She's from East Texas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You talking about the girl uh, Sawyer's name real quick? I don't think so. Nah, they ain't work with her lately. They did back in the day. She been in the game a while. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. She, but she, she been, lyrically, she go hard. Man, it's hard. It's gonna be hard to mess with. I can show you some mm. stuff. It's crazy, <laughs> man. But it, it's just like, like you just, you just, you grab the talent that that, that you do what works for you. Like yeah. when I hit her up and say, "Hey, give me a song," she straight go get it. You know how it is yeah. when somebody doing something. You like, damn, it, it meant, it's meant to be. I had another song before that mm -hmm. that she had done. A unique me, hustle, and it was like this. Hustle. That was just a unique hustle song. When I first, I didn't hear no podcast. No, you didn't hear this one. No. And this was about the store, right? Yeah. So this was about my stores. I just told her I wanted to do me something for the store, and she was going in. Let him hear it. That's how she did it. Who be picking her little track? She, you know, she, she be writing and then picking her tracks. Yeah. Watch this. Anything you want, you can get it. Down from the shoes to the shirt to the fitted. Yeah, we done had this drip for a minute. Boy, you better go back to the city. You need fashion. Yeah, that's the spot. I'm walking in and I'm checking it out. See what he got. Who that's a lot. He ain't got an order. He keeping it stock. She be doing it every time for me, man. So it's like, you know, you just, when, when you when, when you gifted with somebody that just rock with you and you ask them to, hey, do this, do that, it's hard to get people to do stuff. I done asked so many people, like, man, give me something for a minute. They won't do it. And what I trip off of is how many streams they hear this, like this song here. Oh, she uploaded it? No, she ain't uploaded it. Listen, uh, this song. Look how many, you know how many people that heard that dang intro because we started this show? The boss talk I intro been everywhere. That's a good intro. <laughs> and everybody, you know what, you know what they say? Who is that? Like, yeah. Everybody, it, I remember Rainwater said that. Everybody, man, who is that? Every time so I told you last Every time. Every single time. <laughs> it's, the, it's the beat, the way she rides it. Mm -hmm. so. It's hard for anybody to yeah. beat that. Like, we can tell people, hey, make us an intro song. But then when, if we do get one, it's like, it's just, it's just not the it same. It ain't nah, hitting I like that. Off that track, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 we gotta have that, man. You know it's only right. It's only right. Yeah, Say, so. man. So, man, let's get to you, call, man. How you been, man? I'm good. You know, like you know, moving around. You know, just, just dealing with the music business. Man, thank you so much for just coming back on, on on Boss Talk, man. You know, last time you was on, I. I did put them clips in there on you, nigga, boy. I'm good. I put them I'm, clips I'm, I'm in well there, man. Cause I'm I, I well did, equipped for whatever. I did it because I was like, man, now I'm gonna put, the, I'm gonna paint the pictures. I'm like an artist, right? Right. right. So I'd be like, man, we better paint this picture, man. Yeah. That's what the man said. This wasn't going down. You're, yeah. Yeah. and I just, I, and, and I, everybody was like chiming in. They loved it, to be honest with you, because it was like, yeah, if I, some of them hate it, but give, hate yeah. it or love it. I, I remember, you remember when uh, 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 Game and Fifty hate it or love it. Mm. You know, it, you can. Hey. Man, it's the truth, man. You know, <laughs> so, some people don't like the truth. Some people do. I, last time, and, and it was a thing where uh, when we you had spoke about Megan, it something happened after that, and I reposted this stuff again. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was. I think you said something about it. When you said something, I shot it back up again. And then she responded yeah, with something else. Yeah, that's that's the reason else. why. I didn't know what that was about. Yeah, you know, it's just that's they you know they little way mm -hmm. for every time mm -hmm. you say something. They don't want you to say that, you know, but. It's like, what else you gonna do? You have to say what's going on in your life. They don't want you to speak your, your truth. truth. You know exactly. What I'm they just want to be able to put their story out and gag you in the middle. But mm -hmm. you know. I hey. seen you, like I said, I don't know what it was. You like, like it was a small victory or something. 
Yeah. And it was real small. It wasn't nothing major or nothing. They do it all the time. You know okay. what I'm saying? But they take little small victories and they blow it up in the media like it's a huge win when yeah. nothing really happened. You know, they do it all the time. It's to, <laughs> it's to paint the narrative of that they winning something and to get the public opinion on your side. So, you know, I did it one little time and they fucking had a hissy fit. <laughs> so, I mean, 20 pages on your story. You know? Just going crazy, you know? And I'm just like, damn, boy, they hate to lose one little time. But... You know, at the end, you're going to lose anyway. So, yeah, you know, yeah. Hell no, it's going to happen, you know? Well, the, the thing is, you, 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 in the, you know, he comes from sports, so <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't in a losing yeah. at all. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. you can don't even mention losing. Yeah. He loves you know? the competition. Yeah, I think, you know, naturally, I'm a competitive person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I hate to lose. I've been like that since a youngster. And then I just stand for what's right. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I'm one of those people, like, I'm, I'm for justice. I want, I want people to, I want, if you did something wrong to somebody, I, would, right. I want you to pay for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I noticed this last time when you when you came down to Dallas and you came to our studio, I didn't even realize that to me it was like the beginning of your media run because yeah. after that we it was like you were every single where yeah. like every yeah. time I looked on your Instagram, <laughs> you hear you there and you yeah. doing shows and then you doing pop ups and you doing this. I'm like, yeah. dang, almost every <laughs> and it wasn't just weekends; it was during the week too. I'm yeah. like, every day, you know what every I'm day. I can't, you know what I'm saying? You gotta slow it down. My PR lady, hey, we need to chill for interviews for a little while. Cause you know, I was on the road. We, right. We, uh, we slowed it down for a while. It was the whole camp. Y'all actually the first one. Right. Yeah, that I'm actually cranking back. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So y'all well, was cranking it back. We up. love that. We <laughs> nah, love, we it, love it, man. Every yeah. time I'll be like, man, we gotta go but see Carl. I, I, I was, I was on the road, boy. So you're about mm -hmm. to start cranking it up again? Well, I mean, I just be talking and stuff more again because you know it was like everything happening. I guess so. They actually wait for these type of moments when I'm talking to you guys, so I can say the wrong little thing. Yeah. Like, Twisted and turned, so I have to be real careful what I say. Mm -hmm. So it's like, well, we have to pause and kind of like just, you know, get everything under wraps. Yeah, <laughs> like what? What's uh, yeah, 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 Megan yeah. gonna get the same bill? I'm getting, you know what I'm they saying? She it. don't, she don't know that yet. Yeah, though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she just, she just, you know, bragging about suing people. Yeah, but you finna get a serious bill at the end of that. When all this mm -hmm. is done, Megan, you gonna get a bill just as big as mine. <laughs> I mean, I know you. It's people telling you, hey man, you can't say that or you right. can't say this. But I mean, the the thing that when you bring somebody up as big as a Megan a style, you know, right. like when you pretty much put her in position, right. and then you put these say I can't talk or say this or that. Never. How uncomfortable is that? Well, it's very uncomfortable because you can never speak your truth, and you have these powers that you know. Of course, you know she got the big power people that that's helping her. Of course, so um, it's, it makes it real difficult on me, but. Um, at the end of the day, it's just you, you got to pick and choose when you want to say certain stuff because clearly they'll sue you and mm -hmm. uh, they'll keep suing you. I think I'm just trying to get a court date. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't even get a court date. But why yeah. are you choosing mm -hmm. to yeah. talk now compared to, you know, because you could wait till the whole, I know sometimes it takes years. Yeah, forever. Because, forever you, but. because a lot of times when you don't talk, you know, they want to sweep it under the rug and then they act like there's nothing going Like A lot of times people like, Man, I thought this stuff was over with. You right. know what I'm saying? You'd be like, nah, we ain't even we close. Ain't close. We ain't even, and it's going on three years, you know, and we ain't even close. So every time you don't talk about it, then um, it kind of like gets swept under the rug. Then you do what I did like the last time, and now, you know, stuff moving, the lawyers telling me I'm sued, you know, another court date. It, it gets it going. Even though it's kind of crazy, it gets things moving. You That's know what crazy. I'm yeah. Yeah. That you, it's almost yeah. like you got to make them do their job. You got to make them do it because they don't care about my case, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They just be like, whatever. You know, the people got these lawyers on stipends for months and on end, you know, 12 months. Down they getting line, paid. You know, yeah. them, them lawyers' pockets yeah, fat. I'm telling paid. you. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah, yeah, ain't yeah. gonna get the same bill. I'm getting. You know what I'm they saying? She it. don't. She don't know that. that yeah. Though, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She just. She just. You know, bragging about suing people. Yeah, but you finna get a serious bill at the end of that. When all this mm -hmm. is done, Megan, you gonna get a bill just as big as mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I hope you can pay for it. You know? 
Yeah. No, but I get it because at the end of the day, your brand is is, is something that you've built up, and people right. are looking, and you you know you you changing people's lives. You are dealing with a lot of people's lives. You got right. all these different people that depend on you. So when somebody say something that that you know ain't true, or if it is something yeah, that they, they, they've already, they already killed, like you know they already made it so tough for me to even get artists to want to deal with me, you know because yeah. of that stuff, you know. So mm -hmm. I've lost a lot of business behind you know this situation and they continue to make it seem like um hey, um you know like i'm a bad person or whatnot but you know at the end of the day man hey i ain't got paid since 2018 you know what i'm saying wow some shows uh endorsements or whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying i haven't paid one thing like she said i owe her which is a lot but you know um so of course, man. If somebody ain't paid you in three, four years, oh, it's a be problem, about man. It. It's all mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know, ask them, ask them. Since she signed with Rock Nation, she haven't paid for one show. Not know, one. Not one show. Now who? You know what I'm saying? Like this going back to two. And the paperwork states that you one show. Have. Just think about all the shows they've done. All mm -hmm. this. A lot you of them haven't got paid one time for that. That's you know crazy. Saying? And you doing? Fuck, you know what I'm saying? You like one of the biggest acts in the country. Yeah. Because all that's gonna be tied up in court. Yes. Yeah. So that's their way of just like getting away with it for now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna bite uh -huh. you. Yeah. I don't that, think they. Told they're hoping. Part. They're hoping that the bigger lawyers win. Yeah. That the bigger lawyers win. Yep. I hope that the bigger lawyers win. Man. And all that type of stuff, you know. So um, it's just it's just unfortunate that we have to go through this, and it's it's like it's personal. They really just kind of want to see me fail or whatnot. Cause at the end of the day, it's always a simple fix. You know what I'm saying? You got it by billionaires. I don't. Under, I don't understand what. Why is it a money mm -hmm. problem? <laughs> or maybe it's just a pride thing. Pride, ego, ego, all that stuff. Nobody yeah, it's not really the money, yeah. right? It's more of a you know. Excuse my French, uh, dick swinging content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. But <laughs> so. the good thing about it is that you're going through this now in the earlier part of your career, where right. business, where the music industry is concerned. You don't want to wait till later on because now it teaches you how to tweak certain things right, that this right. does not happen well, again. They said that was one of the best things to happen for me to go through this early on because right. I've learned stuff. Like, exactly. Yeah, that's a hell of a lesson. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> hell of a lesson. Yeah. Now I just appreciate you, man, um, for letting us come down here in this hey, in this dope establishment, man. Hey, you know, uh, we that, can't wait hey, to get the get the tour. Yeah, we're getting the tour here in a minute. Uh, I love, well, you know, from the Team the Snow Project to you know Erica Project. You know what I'm saying? We done a lot of stuff in here, so well, uh, you know, we got a lot of success out of this. How long so you been since, here? Since 2000, we got finished around about 2000 and. 18, I think. Mm -hmm. you know, it was always my little spot when I was in my 20s, you know. Yeah. Like, had to yeah. do something right with it. <laughs> <laughs> man, I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you. It's yeah. dope, man. Yeah. Just going up and yeah. just looking at what I've already seen. I know I'm gonna yeah. see more in a minute, but man, dope, man. I love the records, man. The records are real, bro. Like, the work is real, you know what I mean? And and that's the thing about it, man. When you're doing real work and you really putting it down, man, it, it pays off, you right. know what I mean? Yeah, so, you know, we, I, I, that's one of my things to work hard, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I try to outwork everybody and I just try to bring as many of these plaques back to the city of Houston as we can. Hey, hey but even though I put some in Dallas too, because I gave some of those DJs plaques too out there, because they really had a big part in uh, breaking um, the Eric and, oh, and, cool. and Megan. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, and Megan. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you ever think that you do it back to back? I know you don't want to, it's back to back. I knew, I knew. You know, I just didn't really think about it to be honest. Which I just knew it had to be. It had to be done. You know. Do you I think he can do it again? Oh, yeah, of course, I think I can do it again. With who? I don't know. We have to see. <laughs> I think with all of them. You know what I'm saying? With all my artists, but you know, um, it's always that one that's just gonna you know work as harder than the other ones and stand out more. And you know, I I noticed that. <laughs> Yeah. That's what it's all about. Like, like at the end of the day, you know, being able to uh, uh, sniff out that talent. Right. You know what I mean? Being able to understand when it's time to apply the pressure. Right. Being able to keep consistently working. Right? right? Like you already know this from being in the sports. Yep. You, if you don't, if you don't work, you ain't. It ain't gonna pay off. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta be consistent. You know what I'm saying? You gonna practice how you play. All the rules that we learn in baseball. I mean, sports. First one now. Last one to leave, you know, plot all those simple rules to music and it worked for me. So have a guy like Spooty who plays sports to kind of understand that, you know, it really makes it uh, easy on me at times. But yeah. how draining is this industry? Because I see it just like when you were doing those press uh, runs, you were <laughs> on the go constantly. How, um, what do you do to 
Savor your, your energy. Like, um, I just try to stay, sit still in one spot and sleep whenever I can, you know. Pretty much try to um, rest as much as possible because the nighttime is even worse than the daytime, you know. So mm -hmm. it's like that really take the energy out. So try not to do too much at night and then um, uh, rest rest during the day. And do you still work out? Not too much. Like I do, like body stuff. Like I don't go to the gym and that. I don't want <laughs> every way you gonna hurt yourself, right? Yeah, you? nah. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a, like at my age, I'm 40 years old, right? So I don't want like muscles and bulk stuff. I want my clothes to look right on me. But so. I be thinking about cardio. Okay, you know they always say um, working out. You know, working that heart rate and stuff like that. That helps yeah. you to get through your day. Yeah, no, I believe that because I have a track in my house, so I walk a lap or something to keep my heart rate going. Right. Like, but like far as like just heavy weights and stuff like that, I stop that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I do like band weights or push ups or something like that. Resistance weight is yeah. way better. Yeah, that's what I do resistance. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's the most dopest thing, man. So I mean, you know, um just um just seeing your movement, man, Son of Bam and all these guys, man. What's the next project coming out for you? Well, we actually just put out a uh, D Raw project today. Go okay, yeah, okay. So, yeah, D Raw, man. Shout out D Raw, that man. So out. we've been waiting to put that out for a while. His little new style where he's kind of like mellow, you know what I'm saying? Singing to the girls and being a mm -hmm. cool kid. So I love the and cover. Then, yeah. <laughs> that cover, though. And then we put Smoothie um, single out, Chad Butler, today. And, um, you know, he got a project coming soon, and Stunner Bound music is actually coming out as well. We put Martina music out for uh, the EP, three mm -hmm. songs. Yeah, you know I see that. Saying? That was a little something to work with. So we got a lot of music coming out through 1501. We just hope, you know what I'm saying, some catch. And we keep keep, keep rolling, it going, man. man. Hey, man, it's just, a, it's just a wonderful thing to be able to sit down and just hang out with you, man, and, and just... Uh, you know, um, just just get to see the movement, man. Get to see, uh, you know, how you cooking it up. You know, yeah. come into the studio, hang out with you guys, man. Uh, we had some dope people to come through today, thanks to you, man. We came down here to Houston as we spoke on the show that we was going to do. And the good thing about it is to be one to do what you, you know, say that you're going to do. And and most people, you know, they don't keep their word. So and that's the most important thing. <laughs> I hate when people don't keep their word. Me too, so man. so when you when you do that with me, I'm yeah. like, hell no, nah, man. I'm gonna always value that, bro, because yeah. it's a bunch of niggas that be lying. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I don't be understanding the value of things sometimes. I just really feel like I was talking to the people at 979 in the box, like they was like, man, none of the young kids want to come in and do an interview at the radio station. And mm -hmm. we like, what? You know, like, that's all I want to do. I'm yeah. trying to take every artist up there, do the freestyle, whatever. He, they were like, man, they don't want to do it at all. And it's like, they got to beg them to come. And I'm like, Shit. Or if they say they're going to do it, they end up huh? canceling. They they're going to do it, mm -hmm. all that. Because yeah, I think it's because of the YouTube money and all the stuff that's going on yeah. around, though. Yeah, that, all, all, all that matters. All that stuff, but yeah. Still, you know, I would want the whole aura. Oh, you a hustler. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. all that is. Yeah. You just, you, you know already what's going to happen. If you I, do I everything, don't know why, you know why you wouldn't want both sides. Right. That's what I'm saying. You know that they don't know that in their mind. They only know YouTube. You know, you remember yeah. the impact, and you can see the impact of yeah. everything. Yeah. They just know, hey man, when I jump on YouTube, man, I'm gonna go it's get up. that half pint of that say <laughs> cheese or that, or that, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. boss talk or whatever. And I'm gonna yeah. hang out and I'm gonna kick it. Yeah. And and, and then they gonna send my money. Mm. That's yeah, what they yeah. looking at. I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh -huh. So man, you know. Um, I just, like I said, we're going to continue to uh, keep you in our prayers. We thank you. So, um, um, I seen that little girl running around here, too, man. Man, man my little baby, she's Say, some milk, man. man. Adorable. <laughs> she running this place. I yeah. told him that. He tried to get me to come out there talking about, I'm sorry, she lied. Nigga, quit trying to tell me about that. Don't nah, do that, man. man. You know she do. running this thing, man. You ain't really, what I'm going to say? No, nah, God. I tell her I said she got to be quiet. She just wanted to, she just, I don't know. She got the, like, the attitude, the, bad, the worst attitude out of all the kids. <laughs> Yeah. That's the baby. That's what the baby does. Yeah, she gonna run this whole operation one day, man. I, that's what I said. Yeah, she gonna run the whole damn thing. <laughs> so that's why they let her come in and hey, go get used to what you're gonna be working for. Man, like, she wants to be know? around daddy. Yeah, so man, and that's dope, man. That yeah. you do let her spend time up here. That's the dopest thing. Yeah, Cause I be wanting them to catch up. To, you know what I'm saying? Like we have a restaurant too. If y'all have time, we can go. A to restaurant? Burn. Yeah, Burns Barbecue. But I be trying to put like. My kids are like in all, my, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I got, my little girl came here and it was funny cause she came, my oldest daughter came here and I took her to the studio where I was just letting her play. She went back home to Las Vegas and her mom was like, man, this girl won't stop freestyling. <laughs> <laughs> she just walking around here trying to rhyme words. 
<laughs> I'm like, what? That's She's like, yeah, she's been putting words together all day. I say, well, I guess we might have a, a little right. rap on our hand. Right. We might yeah. tell, her, tell her, we give, I'm gonna let her do a, a verse when she come back. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's dope, man. <laughs> she's like, like I, nine years old. Let her do a verse, man. <laughs> but that probably, you don't know, she might be the next one. That's what I said, so. Man, yeah. I can't wait, man. Hey, we gonna interview on Boss Talk. Yeah. What, what, what the boss is talking, man? All right, my, my kids got some type of little flat to them. I think they all could be potential rappers or something. <laughs> right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put them in sports first. Put right. them to the yeah, test, man. man. It's gonna be dope, man. Yeah. So, man, thank you, man, for sitting down with us. Thank you for inviting us in, man. Right. Um, like I said, Anytime I'm in Houston, I'm tapping in. I'm gonna hit you up, or I'm gonna do something to show love. And uh, we gonna every time we gonna spin it, man. Whatever you doing, we man, doing. Just keep keep coming with the little outfits, man. You know I'm, I'm sexy, man. <laughs> you get that, man. You what you gonna do in the summertime? I, I got to. I need all the colors. You, you don't wear tracksuits in the summertime. I wear them, it's still cold. Here. Most of the time. Get what do you wear in the summertime? I wear in the summertime, like, you know, shorts and t-shirts. Oh, yeah. okay. We gonna have you in that too. Yeah. We gonna keep you some gear. All right. I promise you, <laughs> hey, every time you look around, a boxer gonna be coming up to you. Like, man, what? Yeah. Boss Talk sent me some of that floodin' us. Nah, yeah. ain't no floodin'. <laughs> no, floodin'. no, and we gonna keep it fly too. You know what I'm saying? Mama ain't gonna be number. Take the stuff off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that's true, man. Hey, man, I guess we, uh, we for the shut it down. Yeah, I want to know a little bit more about that barbecue spot. Since I'm even yeah, hungry, right I'm here like, what? Homes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's your barbecue. restaurant. Yeah, my restaurant. Me and my brother, you know, we but, own it. My grandfather. So why used to, barbecue? Oh, because it used to be my grandfather's uh, oh. restaurant, but he died, you know, and it was one of those family things. Oh. And we took over it and we kind of just, you know, okay. elevated it to some other stuff. We got like four new locations now. You know, wow. Those are like Kroger's and we put them in. All the here yeah. in yeah, Houston? In Houston yeah. Are you going to branch out to Dallas? Yeah, he actually is putting one in Dallas. To be honest wow. With you. That's dope, man. Do you ever be in there cooking? No, man. Hell no. no. <laughs> I used to work there when I was a kid. You know, that boy is not cooking. You ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> last time I worked there, I was probably about uh, 10, 12 years old. You know, so Would man. you say that's the best barbecue around town? Of course. Of course. Why wouldn't he? Look at that. Anthony Barbon, before he passed away, he came and, uh, and, and came to our barbecue place and did a whole show about it. Really? Every time they air that episode on CNN, it's a whole wave of people coming from the airport to the For real? The wow, station. that's yeah. dope, man. Is it um, like the barbecue sauce, is it homemade? Yeah, it's homemade. It was my grandfather's special recipe. So mm -hmm. yeah, we done patented it and everything, you know? That's dope, man. Yeah, that's so dope, bro. Recycle the black dollar, baby. Hey, yeah, we gotta yeah, check it out. <laughs> I mean, we gonna check it out, yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on Boss Talk right, once man. again, man. Hey man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we have